welcome back. Probably the first segment with Sonny Leonard Doozy where we will not break anything today. <laughs> Maybe. No though. promises. Maybe we'll break the internet, though, because you got some great ideas for video marketing for your business. And uh, you've built quite the brand on this. And there's so many platforms out there. YouTube, the, pretty much the basic. Yeah. Snapchat, Periscope, all of them. Uh, what are the most successful forms to build your business on? Well, there are, like you said, so many now. Every single social platform now has video as a part of it. So you, that is a hint as to why this content's performing so well. Um, so some of my favorites is Snapchat is one of them. And I don't uh, get Snap. I feel like an old man every time I say that. <laughs> <laughs> what is the beauty behind Snapchat to build your business? Well, it's really funny. I did a tutorial on my YouTube channel about it, and in one month, it's received 50,000 views simply because this is a really hot topic. People don't understand how you can use it for your business, but one of the great factors of Snapchat is its immediate attention. Because your snaps only last, your stories only last for 24 hours, your uh, direct snaps only last for up to 10 seconds, um, and you can only replay them once if you want to. So it's immediately grabbing your audience, and it's that 13 to 34 age demographic, I believe, is so active on Snapchat, probably most active on that platform. So if that's who you're going after as far as your audience, you want to be on it. And you know, you mentioned you get thousands of hits uh, using a, a topic like Snapchat just because it is, you know, buzzworthy. How do you maximize the optimization of your videos to get the most traction? What are you doing, keywords and, and, and that whole process? Well, it's a pretty big process, but the, the main things that I, I tell clients or customers or whatever is research, consistency, and engagement. So one of the things for all my videos on YouTube, I changed my strategy about a year ago and it's been crazy to see the traction and it's mostly because Google owns YouTube so Google wants YouTube videos to show up in search so if you're providing uh, value valuable information that's optimized for search because 60% of views and traffic on YouTube is search driven people are going there looking for specific things so you need to figure out how to get in front of them so what I've done is figured out phrases and keywords that are really popular in search and then I build video videos around that so that's helped me grow my channel really fast and anybody in any niche can do that secrets revealed right here <laughs> now what did Apple Applebee's do so well because there were a lot of impressions off this campaign. Yeah, it was crazy. So I was really lucky to be a part of this Applebee's campaign. It was called Taste the Change and it was rolling out their brand new menu. So I flew down to Milwaukee and it received one billion impressions. Billion. That's crazy in one day. So we did a 12 hour live stream myself, Vincenzo Landino and Brian Fanzo, uh, who are live streaming experts in the States. We live streamed across America on Applebee's website for one day and then we also had specific live streamers set up in Applebee's locations across the States. So that's huge trust factor with a brand to allow people to go live in their restaurants. Anything could happen, but it went smoothly for 12 hours. I mean, I, I can't believe the number of impressions off that. Now let's talk Periscope for a second. It was relatively new a few months ago. Yes. Has this thing picked up and is this the way to go for businesses? It's definitely picked up. There's lots of live streaming options now. There's another one called Blab, which is a four-way debate uh, platform where four people can live stream at once, which is really amazing. Uh, but Periscope, this is a, a video of Mayor Bowman in Winnipeg. And I love how he's using it. I'm going to be using this in my presentation coming up. Um, but he does uh, periscopes after every single council meeting. So it allows citizens to get an inside uh, look and a, a back behind the scenes look at what he's talking about. And it breaks down that wall. And the founder of Periscope said the reason he created it was when the, um, the protests were happening in Turkey. He was like, why can't I see what's going on there right now? So it's kind of a form of teleportation and it builds trust and empathy with your audience. Mediums are shifting. And you mentioned a presentation. That presentation is actually for Nate. You know, kind of a big deal, Sunny Leonard Newsy. And you're actually going to use the BC Tourism video included in that too, yeah? I am going to be using that. i got to represent a little bit. I'm going to be in Belgium, so I'm definitely going to bring my Canadian roots with me. But I'm, I'm going to be using this video from uh, Destination BC. It's absolutely stunning. And I think one of the big misconceptions is you have to have a huge budget to create video. And yes, for this, they definitely did. But with things like Snapchat, Twitter video, Facebook video, you don't have to have a huge budget. I film my videos in my house, um, and they do just as well. So you just have to get your message out there and get in front of people and that's the best way to get people to know like and trust you and therefore become customers of yours helping clients around the world <laughs> engage with their community sunny thanks so much Sun thank sunny leonard is where you find her of course on twitter and uh, facebook as well good luck thank you let us know how the presentation thank goes